Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I hope you still remember me. Yes, it's only been a week, right? Yeah, this is Hello Hello. Uh, laughter is the best medicine. I'm Dr. Benjamin K. Chan. Uh, here we are again at PACC here by the uh, you know cultural center area in Manila and um, Ayong uh, Gabi. Uh, good evening, Wan An, hao. okay. Uh, yeah, so today, uh, what I thought of doing is, you know, you still see my friend uh, Guitari here and uh, Gary. Uh, what we're trying to do is to uh, uh, to do the suggestion of what my friend uh, told me the other day. You know, she saw my previous videos to said, hey Ben, why don't you learn a few uh, guitar chords and, you know, uh, match the lyrics uh, the, the the songs uh, you know, together and see how that goes and yes I, i'll take that that that's a good advice so let's see how that goes okay so the the song that i've been doing uh, is a very simple uh filipino song that we grew up singing in a bahai kubo and uh, i think i found a few chords that will match and let's give it a try okay bahai kubo I sorry, sorry. Something like that, right? And yes, and if you remember in one of the episodes, I was talking about the sad story, you know, the first time I came to the US in 1991, where I had to go out and uh, you know, look for a job and things like that. And here's that song, right? Um, I go. First song that I did, and uh, you know, with uh, trying to look for a job in uh, in that college town, you know, as I said, oh God, please help me. God showed me to the church, and I found a job, and the rest is history, right? That was my first job, and then the second song I was talking about, you know, the what's dirty, what's green, what's yellow, which means that you know the the dirty jokes, things refer to Peter or Pedro, as we say. I try not to use the the word uh, and uh, you know come up with different songs and uh, you know different place different country different color right so uh, okay so let's try that um, <laughs> Anyway, that was, you know, the talk about uh, dirty jokes here in U.S. and uh, in Philippines, we call it green jokes. Uh, that's courtesy of the Spanish uh, influence. And then in uh, China, they call it yellow jokes, actually, Huang Zhe Xiao Hua. So that's why, you know, it's in China, it's yellow, Dilao. And uh, yeah, anyway, it makes me think about Mantika. Yeah. All right, so, you know, lately, uh, uh, I, I, this is gonna lead me to my third song that I, I made up, and uh, uh, this is all about uh, when I went home recently. Uh, when a, one of my friends uh, in the Philippines, uh, in Manila, actually, he he loves to come to me and say, "Hey, is it true? You know, he heard about all these things about medical issues. You know, he brought his um, parents to see a doctor, so he has a lot of this." medical information about different conditions, but it's interesting sometimes he will tell me things that are like, oh really, I, I'm not sure where he got those information. And 
A good example was recently when I went home and it came to me and said, Hey Ben, uh, is it true that when you go to see a urologist and they need to check your prostate, you know, they shove the whole arm into your back there. I said, I was like, wait, 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 wait. You're talking about seeing a urologist, right? And he shoved the whole arm into your lower area. I said, wow, that, that I think is a, more of an elephant or a horse. The, your friend or whoever said that probably went to see a uh, veterinarian medicine doc and not, not me. For me, I don't need the whole arm to check someone's prostate. It's just this, this finger, just one finger, right? That's all I need. And that's enough for me to feel the prostate if it's enlarged or if there's any hard areas that worry about cancer and things like that. But I've been doing that for the last 30 years and so far, me, for human beings, one finger and that's this finger, right? Yeah, but anyway, speaking of finger, and you know, it reminds me of when I was an intern, when I was you know, finishing medical school, that was back in like 1986, somewhere there. Um, I remember going to the hospital, they were showing me how to do an exam and uh, at that time, remember, Philippines is a developing country. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of money there, so we save everything that we can, right? So, when you do a rectal exam, you need, of course, a gloves, right, to put that finger in the rectum and, and feel things. And uh, but at that time, they showed me a container, like a glass container, like this, and it's full of uh, fingertips. Meaning, they they get a pair of gloves, they cut it, they cut the fingers off. So when you pick it up, it's just just like one finger, it's just like a condom actually, right? Small condom and uh, that's it. I mean, we try to save money, right? And yeah, so you put it on in your finger and the trick there is that you have to have a strong thumb. Why do I say that? Well, imagine you put that on, right? Get some KY or at that time like Vaseline, things like that. And you put it into the rectum there. If you don't have a strong arm uh, or thumb, I mean, and you pull your finger out, guess what? that glove is inside, right? And it's like, oh, the guy is like bent over and then he's like, uh, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, I, you know, I, I left something there. And uh, well, when you go to the bathroom, somebody will come out, it's okay, right? I mean, that, that's one option. Or of course I can always like put something in there and maybe a, a pick up force and pull it out and things like that, but that's it's gonna be very, very embarrassing. So, so what I mean by having a strong thumb is remember is put your thumb here, right there. Right, hold it, hold it well. So when you put it and you pull it out, you're able to hold the glove. But, but yes, I mean, it sounds ancient, but I know here in US and other places probably don't do it anymore. We have whole gloves usually, right? Uh, but in case, in case you go to a country where they still do that, you know, like I said, have one finger and have a strong thumb, right? Yeah, anyway, so that that's that and uh, yeah, sure. So. Well, I came up with a little song about that and let's see, see if it goes, right? To be a doctor, you need fingers Which finger you ask? I suggest index To check prostate, to check cervix Just one finger. There we go. So that's that's the other song that came up with when it comes to uh, finger gloves and rectex. But seriously, yeah, you know, uh, I heard that in other places of the world where if you steal something, the cut of your hand, right? Yeah. So uh, if you're in a situation where you want to become a doctor and you did something wrong and they need to cut on your hand or fingers. Yeah, let them cut out these three fingers. Actually, I would say, you know, let them cut out this two finger, right? Because in medicine, you need this to check the prostate, and in case you need it with one glove, you need the other one to hold the glove, right? So save these two. And then as far as checking the cervix, when I, you know, deliver babies, and I need to make sure that the uh, cervix is open so the babies can come out, yeah, I need this two finger, to make sure that it's like 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters and mom can push and get the baby out of there, right? So yeah, try to save these two fingers, you know. Um, uh, by the way, you know, I was thinking it's time to review uh, what we talked about in the last video. Remember Ta Xiao, right? Remember how to remember 
the big and the small in the Chinese uh, character, you know, uh, you have to have a dirty mind there and uh, think about these people accusing Asian with small, small Peter, right? The one that looks like a small Peter is Xiao, uh, like a Peter Xiao, right? The other one is big, right? And with the, with the finger, you know, that's how we say that in uh, Mandarin, right? This is Da, Da Mu Zi, and then that's Xiao, Xiao Mu Zi Little, right? And uh, this is uh, index, you know, in Chinese is Shi, Shi like it. Uh, I think, you know, we need that to taste things and that, that's what it is, right? And then the ring finger, interesting, it's called Wu Ming. Uh, there's no name to that. I don't know why, but there's a name. I mean, when you put your ring finger there, like like this, or when you put your ring finger there, you have a name and that's, that's the name of your wife, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, of course, uh, middle finger in Chinese is called also Zhong Zhi, meaning that Zhong middle, right? That, that's what it's all about. Anyway, if you need to let them cut your finger and you want to be a doctor, right? Cut the little, cut the unknown one or a ring finger, right? And then uh, save these three fingers. Okay, anyway, that's what it is for today. Uh, a little song and uh, I'll see you guys in maybe a week or so. Okay, thank you. Uh, bye, Good night, one on, bye-bye. Take care, bye.